Hello everyone, Catherine Dines here with one of Canada's best talents, Forrest Black, uh, with us from Los Angeles. Hello, Forrest. Hi, what a cliche, Canadian in Los Angeles. <laughs> I know, at Christmas of all things. I still miss, I still miss the snow and the cold, so. <laughs> well, that's good. We, we don't, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh um this is amazing thank you for taking time for us because you are racking up like hundreds of millions of streams everywhere with all your uh catalog it's crazy your most recent song fall into me i understand this was a co-write with uh rob thomas from matchbox 20 which is and, crazy and, and he's like he's you can hear him on the song how did that happen I was in a songwriting session with my friend Greg and we were just chatting. He was like, I'm, I'm gonna be working with Rob Thomas. And I was like, oh, say hi for me. And I said it, I guess, with this confidence that I knew Rob. And so he was like, yeah, do you, you know him? I'm like, no, I don't know him. And, but kind of the, like the weird way the world works. When I was a kid and I first started playing music, you know, I, I, I started singing and I was in my high school and the high school teacher at, at, was like, at the time, he's like, this big song smooth by Rob Thomas and Carlos Santana, will you cover it? And I didn't know really how to cover anything. And so I was like, yeah, sure. I just agreed. And so here I am at like a high school talent show and I get up to sing it and I forget every single word. Oh, <laughs> so I'm just, just standing on stage with a microphone looking like an idiot. And uh, so I've always had this like a fear of playing covers and, uh, and this like weird connection to Rob Thomas. So when my friend was saying he's working with him, I have like to say hi for me. And he's like, so he's like, yeah, you know, I'm like, no, I don't. He's like, you and actually, you and Rob would be good. We should write together. And I was like, sure, let's do it. And so next thing you know, I get a, a message from my, my buddy, Greg. He's like, okay, we, we can do it on this day. And I'm like, that's my birthday. He's like, yeah, we can do it if you're down. And so then next thing you know, I'm in a songwriting session with Rob Thomas and my buddy, Greg Wattenberg. And it's my birthday. And What a gift. It was crazy. Yeah. And I'm like talking about meeting my girlfriend and like going through a breakup and writing a hit song about it. And then here I am to, you know, and then next thing you know, we write a song and little did we know that this song would do something. So it's crazy. Oh, it's a beautiful song, gorgeous song. Let's back up a little bit to uh, <laughs> um, If You Love Her. <laughs> Everybody yeah. knows that song. And uh, Move 100, of course, playing it all over the place pre-Christmas. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Move. <laughs> and then all of a sudden we get a duet with uh, Megan Trainer. How did that happen? It feel like, feels like my whole life has been like this for the last two years. Um, I was sitting in my studio where I am right now and it was like a Thursday and all of a sudden my DM goes off for Instagram and I'm like constantly, you know, I love chatting with fans and so I constantly check in and I see Megan Trainer, and I'm like, this can't be real. And so like I open up the message and it's like, yo i'm your biggest fan i love your song i i wrote a second verse and i was like are you are you serious and so she's like text me and she sends me her number so next time i'm like texting with this random number and i'm like this is actually megan trainer and true to her word she sends me off a version of my song with her as a second verse and doing all the, the like harmonies and everything and i was like this is absolutely crazy it's like it's been the craziest year of my life so it's it's and, a beautiful so, it's a beautiful yeah. duet like i like yeah like you are you are just doing so well and we're so happy for you i know you had a, a rough time uh for a bit before you uh started picking things up in la uh and now this is super exciting uh we're 24 christmas so anything christmas related really captures attention right now um sing along with me is your new christmas song with yeah. Tiffany, a.k.a. Tuli Jones, who happens to be your partner in crime. <laughs> yeah. I'm thrilled about it. <laughs> this, We've this been like 24 Christmas since July because of it. You know, that's that's when I was recording it. So which is wow. very weird to be recording a Christmas song in Los Angeles in July. It's and like a, the video, <laughs> the video, the two of you in front of the fireplace, you with your guitar, the way you guys are looking at each other. This is in a, a new uh, Hallmark Christmas movie. Right? Yeah. Comes out on Saturday, December 4th. This is crazy. And the title again? <laughs> Sing along with me. The Hallmark movie is a very merry bridesmaid. So uh, what was that experience like? I, I feel like everything's been coming at me for like a mile a minute. So it's it's kind of hard to 
to fully explain it, it's just like every day there's like something new. And, you know, for Hallmark, I got invited to play a Hallmark Christmas show. And so I was there with like Train and Jordan Sparks. And then next thing you know, I become good pals with Carolyn Ray, you know, the mom from Sabrina the Teenage Witch and one of like, she's a Canadian icon for me. And, you know, and, you know, we're just all chatting. And actually I was, I was in the like green room and it was me, it was Caroline Ray, it was uh, Lacey from Mean Girls, Terry Hatcher. It's like all these big actors and, and actresses. And I'm sitting there with my guitar warming up and I'm just singing my songs to Tiff and Tiff is like right in front of me. So I'm just singing to her and Caroline goes crazy about it. She's like, yeah, get this sweet couple just singing to each other. And so then she, Caroline gets up, she's like, actually everyone be quiet, let Forrest play his songs. So next thing you know, I'm like playing, you know, all my songs, playing If You Love Her, Fall Into Me, and then sing along with me. And then Caroline asks, you know, Tiffany and I about our love story. And the next thing you know, she's like, oh my God, the CEOs of Hallmark need to hear this. <laughs> so we're like, we're up and we're walking over and now I'm telling the CEO Hallmark my love story with my girlfriend. And then, they, you know, within a week, Hallmark was like, hey, we would love to use sing along with me in the movie. And just crazy. So I love your love story, and it's so true. It needs to have its own movie. You need you yeah. guys need to be your own movie. It's amazing your love. Hallmark twenty twenty two. We got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there are big, 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 big things coming for you. I know more like already big things, but more big things. So, uh, what uh, what so what are you guys like? What do you guys like to do? Do you have any new traditions you've started together? For Started eating. We do Chinese food on Christmas, which is. <laughs> I think when you're like an LA transplant, you don't really get to be home with your family. You don't, you know, cooking the big extravagant Christmas dinner for two is not. It just doesn't work, you know. You feel like you're just really overindulging. So we're like, any time that we're not able to be around family or be back home, then we're just going to do like a Chinese Christmas. And that's awesome. That's and Chinese. your nana, I got to ask about your nana. Oh. You talk about your nana. You've got videos of your Nana on all your socials. Yeah, what she's not happy about. She she scolded me when I got stuck in Canada. I was in Europe and I, they wouldn't let me back into the States. I had to go back home for a little bit. And I was with her and I learned very quickly that Nana does not like being on TikTok, Instagram or Facebook anymore. You gotta so. tell her we all love Nana. We love her. She knows, she knows, but she's she has no celebrity in her at all. She's like, I'm not here for it. Like, good luck, pal. As she would say, that in a bus ticket will get you downtown. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's doing amazing. I yeah, she's. I mean, she's my biggest champion. She's, like, yeah. I would be nowhere if it wasn't for that woman. So we all need a Nana like Forest Blocks Nana. That's yeah, amazing. Nana Lee. That's amazing. So uh, this is so cool. This is awesome. Are you working on music? I feel like you're always working on music. You're always. Doing I'm, I'm like literally in my studio right now. So. Yeah, I've got like thousands of songs I'm on, you know, always working on. It's crazy, you know. I, yeah, I'm just hoping I can put out more and more and more. And for however long I get to do this crazy career, it's it's just my it's mind blowing. I don't know. Every day I wake up and the fact that I get to put words and you know music together, I, I feel like I never graduated from kindergarten. Like I'm just <laughs> just like out here playing. But you were born to do this. Obviously, you're so good at it. And we are so lucky that you're doing this because, wow, what a feast for the ears. Everybody needs to go and find Forest Blocks catalog available anywhere you get your music. And what's your favorite way to connect with fans? I know you're on Instagram a lot. I love social online. media. So yeah. you, people can connect with me. But like, I encourage people like write me, like actually say, say hi, like, and, and you know. but one of my favorite things, I have an app that I use called Community. And so you'll see like a lot of bands will put up like a number and saying, text me. And, but I like, I genuinely spend like hours of my day just texting with fans. And one of my favorite parts is like when songs come out or like the Hallmark stuff, all of my fans and community knew about all that before anybody else, before I ever go out to social media. And so, and I do like Zoom calls with people and I do Christmas calls. So like I had a rough childhood with Christmas when I was a kid. And one of the things about really trying to embrace Christmas now is I started this thing called Christmas calls four years ago and I had my fans submit their numbers and I would call whoever submitted a number on Christmas. And so last year it got crazy to the point where it took four days to call everybody. So I have no clue what this year is going to be like because oh my gosh. It, everything oh. has grown quite a bit. So what a beautiful thing to gift fans with. Oh, I love yeah, that. I love it. So if people, 
if people want to text it, it's uh, area code 310-496-3464. You text me, you'll get like an automated text and then you have access to me. So I love it. So you're the person really texting your fans. I, I man all my social media. Nobody, nobody mans my social media. It's all of me. So like I, every time somebody's like texting back or commenting, like there's been this year, there's been a ton of these posts of like tag your favorite artists and see if they write back. And I'm like, I know. Huh. And you know who pops up every time I see one? You. <laughs> you. You're the only artist. I even tried it on our uh, social medias for Move 100. <laughs> it's like Horace Black. Because you people know, I guess they know how connected you are. That's amazing. I love it, man. I don't know how long this lasts. This is, I, like, I don't take any of it for granted. It's crazy. It's like mind boggling to me that every day I get to do this and I get, you know, people care. Like, I think you everybody knows what it's like to feel invisible at some point. And for me, over the last few years, I know the complete opposite of that. Like, I know exactly what it's like to be visible. And I know what it's like to feel invisible. And I've always made this had this pact and agreement with myself, no matter how big this got, I would always try and turn that some of that light, if not all of it, like back on other people, because it's like, you know, what, what kind you can be a singer with the best songs in a venue with nobody in it. Like, then what do you, what are you? So you realize like where the, where the real magic comes from. It's like, it's great, write songs, but it's people. And I love people. I love that, you know, thousands and thousands of people have walked down the aisle to my song this year. Or like some people have had my songs as their playlists when, you know, when they, the first steps of their children, or I've seen videos of people dancing, which has been unbelievable. And like the world champion figure skaters were breaking world records to my spoken words. And it's like, wow, like my songs are, are people's moments. They're their favorite memories. They're their breakups and they're their love stories. And I'm like, so I just feel super honored. So yeah, every time like if someone engages with me and for as long as I can keep it up, because I'm sure it's it's already hard where I get like, I get like 400 texts in a day. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of people to write back. But, that's but I, I try my best. It's, yeah, it's incredible. So I could talk about it forever, but I, yeah. So if you're listening well, to this, me. this is a big gift for us. So thank you for uh, giving us some of your time. We appreciate that. And uh, always cheering you on always cheering on Forrest Black. And uh, yeah, I just can't encourage everyone enough to go and uh, listen if you haven't already. Probably you have because... Because because you guys have been playing me before anybody played me. Oh so my you. gosh, we play so much of your music. It's, a, it's an amazing uh, gift for us to have such an incredible talent. So thank you, Forrest Black. Oh, thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, I love this.